Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to Ayura. We just had one of our planes worked on this week with maintenance. This is one of our maintenance crew, Gibson. I'm taking him back and Brent is flying the other plane back in a minute. So let's get started before the rain comes in a little more. So let's start. I just shut down, so I'm waiting for my ITT to drop down below 200, which it just did. Over 14% reduce my idle or my low idle for fuel. Watch my NG, make sure it comes up over 35% smoothly. ITT and watch the trend of that. Peaked out at 702. So once the number starts dropping back down on your ITT, then you know that your start is complete. All right, fuel caps and selectors. Controls, we'll turn Betty off for takeoff. She'll be yelling at us, get her radar and warming up. We'll go back at 6,000 feet and we'll just take the low route back. Flaps and radar are completed, verified at 20. Both sides. She's an instrument, everything's in the green. Weight's 5,300 pounds, so let's do 53 or 54 and 63 if we had to come back in. All stations at Euro 120 decimal 7, Kodiak November Tango, Zulu taxiing for departure Goroka, will be on climb 6000. Moresby 6622, November Tango, Zulu taxi. November Tango, Zulu Moresby, go ahead. November Tango, Zulu taxi, Ayura, Goroka, 2 POV. November, I think it was a little, a little muddy out here today. Hopefully it doesn't flick any mud up onto my camera on the horizontal. All right, if we're not 50 knots by the ramp, then we're gonna go ahead and reverse. Heavy braking, cut off, pull off, and shut off. If we're going off, we'll just continue straight ahead. After takeoff, pitch for 85, consider PL, consider feather. 80 full flats, emergencies crack my door and make my mayday call on 6622. Heart right, ignition inlet and lights. Car is done. 20 degrees out, 5,000. 1390 for 1440 up there. Mission condition flaps 20, fuel and harnesses. All right, checklist is complete. Yeah, go ahead and open up. I'm sorry, say again, estimate um, Ayura for Sierra and Tango. Estimating Ayura 3-2. 3 2 Nova, Pengu Zulu. Our ignition condition flaps 20 fuel and harnesses, 1390, rotate 54. Set. Speed's alive. There's 40. There's 54. Off the ground before all the mud. All right, just two knots of tailwind. So it looks like the gap that I came in well, is starting to close off the middle of the rain. Zero to four seven left at one two thousand on climb. Uh, Floodable two seven zero and uh, on bog at time uh, two nine. Request the airways clearance. Morris six six two two November Tango Zulu departure. I'll bring a prop back to two thousand RPM. Just remain at 6,000. It's kind of crap out. Clouds are lowering over there. It's starting to rain a little bit more. Morris B6622, November Tango Zulu departure. November Tango Zulu, go ahead. November Tango Zulu departed, time 18, tracking 291. On climb, number of 8,000, Garoka 34. 8,000, and if you need one, uh, zero, zero, nine. One zero zero nine or November Tango Zulu. All right, I'll put my landing light off. 
Engine inlet back to normal because it's not really raining that hard and we'll turn our igniters off. Really, when the rain starts pouring down, I'll leave my igniters on. But for this type of rain, I'm not going to really worry about it. We're heading through the Compre Gap right here. We'll just stay at around 6,000 to 6,500 just to get through that. I was going to take you the low route back down the highway, the Highlands Highway. And depending on how much rain is in this next valley up here, we'll determine if we can make it down there easily or if we should just go where it's more VFR. Because it's clear going over to Garoka, it looks like. All stations, Ayura. Uh, Kodak November Tango Zulu departed Ayura uh, for Garoka. Passes through the Compre Gap 6,600. All stations, Ayura. Uh, I'm just saying that because there is an SIL plane coming in, back into there, from that direction over there. Although it looks pretty terrible weather out that way. All right, it looks like I might be able to actually do the lower route today. It is a little bit nicer out that way. We'll have some rain, but it doesn't look like it's necessarily any stronger rain than what we're experiencing right now. Now that we passed over the Compre Gap just about, we'll drop on down more into the valley and just follow the highway up to Garoka. So if you want to do this exact same flight on um, Microsoft Flight Sim or X-Plane, I know that Ayura is, is on X-Plane and 99% sure it's probably on the flight, uh, Microsoft Flight Sim as well. But I'll leave a link um, to my Patreon page where you can find this exact same um, sim flight with all the details. I'll put the strip chart in for Ayura. We don't have one for Garoka, but show you the exact kind of route, the distances, and so you can basically fly this exact same route and throw in the same kind of weather that I have today. So you can experience PNG uh, similar to what I get to every day. This Highlands Highway starts down in Lay or Medang, meets about halfway and then comes up and goes all the way up to Mount Hogg and whatnot. I think the Australians built it, I don't know how long ago, a long time ago, and it's had very little maintenance done since then. They are trying to redo it a little bit, but they're definitely not making it uh, up to par, that's for sure. Because I'm a little bit lower now, I'm just putting my engine inlet back into bypass just because I am kind of at the level that birds might be. In case I do suck one up into my intake, I'd rather go out the bottom of the aircraft than get sucked up into the actual urban engine. You can see on my left here, we've got some power lines. That's, that's pretty much the only power lines here and they can just keep on that left side of the mountain. So if you guys are flying and you're like, oh, why is he flying low to the ground and why is like there's power lines and whatnot? That's one nice thing about PNG is they do not have power lines going across like really, really high up. They're usually like 50 feet off the ground max. But if you're familiar with Papua New Guinea at all, Hanganothi is just coming up right up here. We'll go around the next valley and then we're into the Garoka Valley. 500 done some motorcycle rides out here. This is probably one of like the prettiest rides ever. Kind of reminds me a little bit back home in the States, but goes up, has some nice forests and stuff. Really great views, grassy plains. Uh, yeah, it's an incredible. I have some videos on my other channel. I haven't uploaded in a really, really long time, but I do have some other motorcycle videos, like kind of enduro, dual sporty kind of videos that I shot a few years ago that actually were really cool, I thought but uh, that's just too hard of a niche to try to stick your foot into. So hanging off, is just down here right below me, right here. And the highway curves up around here. Really, really pretty green mountain today with it being overcast like this, everything looks so nice and green. We're just running into Garoka's airspace now at 1.5 miles. We'll give them a call. I'm a little low, so I might have a little bit of a trouble getting them. I don't put you in contact today. Sure. Oh, I'm hearing them, though. Yeah, so this road right here off to the left, they just finished paving it. It used to be dirt. It was an incredible ride. It's still a fun ride, but paved roads aren't really my thing. But, yeah, going up through those mountains, coming all the way back down, it's like 60 miles round trip. Really, really awesome ride. Broker Tower, November, Tango, Zulu. I'm going to give a call again once we pass around. There's a tower up here, and the highway just goes right around that. Once I get out there, I should have a clear view all the way into the Garoka Valley. 
and I'll give him a call back then and see if he can hear me. There's a really cool waterfall right up here on the left, um, right down from this tower up here. I've ridden out to it, but I just didn't really feel like walking all the way down the hill to get down to it, but now that I have a 360 camera on my wing, I can actually show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, picture perfect. That's 500. Awesome. Roka Tower, November Tango Zulu. Tango Zulu, Tower Morning again, November Tango Zulu, uh, one three miles to the east southeast, below 6,000. Estimating your circuit 3 4. Looks like I got some traffic. Number Tango Zulu, QNH 101 Nada. Run with 3 5 right. Join chickens on straight in, report final. 101 Nada, straight in for 3 5 right, November Tango Zulu. Let's go through our landing checklist, our selectors, our fuel selectors, and brakes are good, our taws, again, uh, we'll just leave it in, in, uh, in op right now, or inhibited right now. Our V-Ref shouldn't be changed much from takeoff, we're still 70 or 5300, so touchdown will be 50, correction, 63, which is what it is. Our lights and inlet, we'll get the landing light on, we've already got our bypass in because we're low. If we do need to go around for any reason, it's power up 20 degrees of flaps, pitch for 73 knots. Reset our torque to 740 and then maneuver is required. We're just 900 miles out. We'll report final for 3-5 right here in a minute. That's probably get about five miles. I'm just a gloomy day all around PNG. Looking at the map earlier, it's pretty much everywhere today is like this. Grove Tower, Mike, Echo Whiskey. Mike, Echo Whiskey, Grove Tower. Mike, Echo Whiskey, requesting taxi, Katamui, TLV. All right, it's a nice day, but I have uh, my OBS button here, turn to runway 350. That put a nice little line on my screen for my orientation of just 18 bound, shortly. Mike Echo Whiskey, expediting. Mike Echo Whiskey, that is uh, MAF Caravan. And I am planning on trying to shoot a video with one of their pilots to compare the Caravan to the Kodiak. So the differences between them um, and maybe what might work better for PNG, or if they're the same, I honestly don't even know. So hopefully, I was gonna try to do it today, but it just didn't work out with their pilots. So maybe the next couple of weeks, I will try to do that, and I'll be putting that on my Patreon page uh, for those that are interested in finding out um, yeah, which one might be better suited for this type of work. Crooktown, November Tango, Zulu, four mile final, three, five, right. All right, prop forward. Zulu, 3 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 3 right, no, Zulu. All right, prop forward, harness is done. We've got our landing clearance. Reduce our torque. 438, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. 500. 120, we'll go 20 degrees of flaps. Slow as I should come in is 63 knots. I really don't need to come in that slow today, though. We'll land before the 500 foot marker because this runway is not flat and uh, it kind of rises about three feet and then drops another couple feet. So if you land in the wrong spot, you kind of have a hard landing. So I'm just going to land before the 500. I'll go full flaps, checklist complete. I would have had a hair, uh, an extra set of headsets for this guy, Gibson. But I forgot to bring them, so yeah, maybe next time I have a passenger up front. Michael Whiskey, Mike Kelly Kilo, that's it from Hagen, estimate you 4 5. I will be on the same for 17,000. Mike Echo Whiskey, copy, and copy November your Tango Zulu. Echo Whiskey is ready. Mike Echo Whiskey.
my I'm just gonna keep my speed up for Mike Echo Whiskey so he can get going. Mike Echo Whiskey, right at two for the loop. Right turn two for takeoff. One seven right, Mike Echo Whiskey. Hey guys, well thanks for joining me along on that just 15 little minute flight from Igera over here to Garoka. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content, be sure to consider subscribing. I put out videos a couple times a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And uh, give the video a thumbs up if you guys thought it was quality enough to get a thumbs up. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch and uh, have a wonderful day. Traffic, 10 o'clock, same altitude, zero miles. Shutdown. Got my fuel, remaining fuel. Got 500 pounds. Turn off my air blowers, my lights, ox bus, generator, alternator, V2. Make sure that's all the idle. Coast Guard, Mike Echo Whiskey, departure 35 initially. I'm watching my ITD drop below 200 and my NG drop really kind of below 8 before I turn off the fuel pump. Alright, guys, have a good one. Thanks again.